This is a tutorial on how to put your recon back together. First piece you want to put in is this. If you t actually took it out, just put it right here. Just goes right back where it was. Right here, a small click. Next, you want to put in the barrel. Um, you want this to be on top and these two holes. I'll click into the other two holes right on there, right on top of them. Clicks in. Next, you'll put in this piece right here. Notice this is where the clip goes in. So you want this to be over here. Now, I suggest cocking this back most of the way because this hole right here on the bottom has to line up with that small piece of plastic that's sticking up. Then you slide the entire thing forward until you hear a light clicking sound. Now, you'll have a piece here. You don't need it. I don't know what it does, but um, uh, you don't need it. Um, mine fell out and I don't know where it is, so it's okay. Um, next thing you put in is this. This locks the trigger in place, so you definitely need this part right here. Now it rests right in here. It's just simple as that. It just clips right in. Hold on, just one second. Maybe a little hard to get in, but once you get it in, it's in for good. Now notice that the uh, it seems like it was cut just to fit right there. That's how you know that it's in the right place. The next piece that you would put in is this, and it's really stupid, and it actually, it, it does go right here. Now, it actually hurts your gun, because this way, with that in, your gun has to be cocked back to put the magazine in. Now, if it's not there, you can put it in and take it out as you please. The magazine will still stay in, because this is here. So it, the magazine will stay in, but this way, it, it, if it's loaded, you can still take the mag out and put it back in. Next is the trigger piece, which make sure you have the spring here. Definitely helpful. Now, just be careful because this little piece in the front has to slide in here. And then put this on and the spring. Put it in there. Okay, now that you put in the trigger, this right here, this little square piece right here, has to be resting on this right here. This small little has to be just pushed up, resting on that. If you don't have it resting on there, the gun's not going to work. So that is very crucial. Next, your slide on the spring to the barrel. And um, this piece right here, make sure you have the spring on it. You have the spring lower in the gun. Just slide it over the spring. Be careful not to mess up anything. And then you're going to just put it down first and then in. This way the spring will stay inside. And then make sure that this is still resting on that piece. Because remember, it's very crucial to your gun. Now if you take a look, you'll see that all of the pieces that actually matter are in my gun. Now, right here, this piece you don't really need. I'm just going to show you how to put it in. It's this. Holds the bullet down here. Now, you want the arced part facing up, and it should be this way. And it will fit right in there. If you have it this way, it's not going to fit. So just flip it over and stick it in. And then, make sure that this is slid up right here. And then on this side, the shell on the gun is also slid up. And then you can just slide it over 
I'll make it, it won't go on this side, but just click it over. Okay? Now everything's in. Now if you try to make sure the spring is in before you do it, it's not going to work. All the pieces are going to go flying and you're going to have to do this all over. Okay? So just let it hang out. Okay? Then, right here, use the back of your arm to put a little bit of pressure on there. And open the gun just enough to push the spring in. And then push that down. And that should hold the spring in, but um, I cut this off so that it's pretty good mod. Not to get into that, but um, and you just slide this on, and that'll keep the spring in. Okay, so screw in all the screws, and you're gonna work again.